Welcome back. It is my settlement phase <clears throat> for Lantern Year 13. We just took on the level two lion. We did lose our savior, uh, Lisa. Uh, that was unfortunate. She died of uh, mortal terror from the brain trauma. She took on the very first AI card drawn from the, uh, the white lion. Uh, but our other three survivors were victorious. And we did come away with quite a lot of uh, resources down here. Um, we also came away with uh, a uh, piece of equipment, the White Dragon Gauntlets. So the White Dragon Gauntlets right here. Uh, I'll read them to you. It's an armor set uh, made of ivory and metal. It's heavy uh, with three red connections. One of them has to be a puzzle piece connection. Uh, when you side swipe, gain plus one accuracy and plus five strength. For your next attack this turn. Don't know what Sideswipe is, but it does have a 12 armor. So I know at the end of the last video I decided to get rid of the stone noses to keep the gauntlets uh, when Tom grabbed him off the dead lion. However, uh, I can't put two pieces of armor with the same location on my, on my gear grid, so I had to get rid of uh, the leather gloves. So we'll just repurchase them here in this, this settlement phase. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and start. Uh, we do have somebody with PTSD, so I put the card out just to remind me. I have somebody with Hoarder, so we're going to have to archive a piece of a resource, uh, but they do get um, a Courage. And uh, PTSD means that they don't actually contribute to Endeavors. Um, contribute or participate in any endeavors. So we won't contribute to any endeavors or participate in any endeavors. Contribute and contribute any endeavors or participate in any endeavors. I believe that's the way that it reads. Contribute to any endeavors, contribute any endeavors or participate in any endeavors. So I read that as she doesn't get to bring endeavor home. Um, so right now we've got two for the survivors that returned, and two for the dead uh, savior that we lost. All right, so beginning the settlement phase really quick. Uh, the first thing we always do is pull us a settlement event. So let's go ahead and do that, and hopefully it's not a bad one. We've had some bad rolls this campaign, and I, I just don't want to see any more. We're about to fight the hand anyways, and I don't have a lot of sur uh, survivors left that, that can be thrown to the thrown to the hand for sacrifice so let's see what actually happens it'll be the the ninth one two three four five six seven eight nine here's the ninth one it is sword hunter so i'll read that to you an opposing woman oh wait a minute i don't i never got um in this campaign i never actually found uh, the sword. So let's take that out. That was for uh, the last camp, my, my other campaign I'm playing with my other friends. Haunted. That's the ninth one. The survivor with the lowest hunt experience, choose in case of a tie, is convinced a powerful presence is nearby. So that's going to have to be one of the twins um, that were born last. There are two new survivors. We'll choose the male. Why not? Um, roll a d10. An eight. Does the settlement have memento mori? No, I don't. The survivor paints their blood in patterns all over the settlement. They permanently gain plus two strength and plus one accuracy. Holy cow. Um, okay. And the following ability, possessed. That's an ability, huh? So possessed states... Cannot use weapon specialization, weapon mastery, or fighting arts. Oh, holy cow. Okay. Um, but they do have plus two strength and plus one accuracy. That's not bad. But they don't get to use fighting arts. And they don't get to use specializations or proficiencies. Interesting. Haunted. It's kind of a good and a bad thing. They're going to be really strong and accurate. 
Um, okay, so the next thing we have listed down is Nemesis Encounter the Hand. So that means we're going to go ahead and not have a hunt phase and not have a showdown, normal showdown. It'll be a Nemesis Encounter with the Hand. Um, the next thing we have is Hooded Knight on the timeline. So let's go to Hooded Knight in the book. Okay, and here's the picture. Let me read you. A stranger emerges from the darkness. If any survivor has the Twilight Sword, they duel the knight. Otherwise, his motives are inscrutable. Roll below on the mysterious agenda. We do not have the Twilight Sword. So we'll roll below on the mysterious agenda. So, mysterious agenda. Roll a d10. It is a three. The Hooded Knight insists on training the uncouth survivors in martial combat. Up to two survivors may spend three resources each to learn the Mighty Strike fighting art. The Hooded Knight leaves with unfinished business. Okay, so we could get Mighty Strike for three resources. I'm going to do that. At least one person can get Mighty Strike. Um, so we're going to have to take out two new survivors. Wilson can't go out. So Valkyrie and Tom. So if Wilson can't go out, we only have five survivors. That's three. So we're going to have to have somebody go out. So I'm going to give Mighty Strike to Wilson. Yep, we're going to give Mighty Strike to Wilson. And three resources. Here they go. It's a good thing we got a lot of extra resources. Last settlement phase, or last uh, hunt phase. And now he's going to have unfinished business. So add the Hood Knight to the timeline four years from now. So we'll do that. One, two, three, four. It is added. And now we have Bone Witch. So Ra, the girl we exiled, comes back again. This is the third time visiting the village. One day, the third day, the exi exile emerged from the darkness. The settlement worried at the sound of her wailing chants. Everyone feared what mystery kept her alive in the darkness all these years. All non death returning survivors get three insanity. Well, that's good. So Wilson and Valkyrie and Tom all get three insanity. The most insane returning survivor, well, that's going to be Valkyrie and Tom, um, or survivors, so both of them, are inexorably drawn to the bone witch and must endeavor at the witch camp. So we'll endeavor at the witch camp. Here's one. It's a 1d10. This is for Tom. Tom gets a 1. The bone witch never forgave her exile. Her burning hatred lit the dark brighter than any lantern. With jagged teeth and narrow claws, she attacks. You manage to escape, but the wounds she inflicted continue to burn. The group may spend three endeavors to save you. Otherwise, you die a miserable, wailing death. Well, I'm going to have to use every endeavor. Because I can't have Tom die. Departing survivors are haunted by your terrible death. They lose two survival and gain three insanity. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and put these dice out here so I remember. Lose two survival. Gain three insanity. For departing survivors. Add Bone Witch to the timeline three years from the current Lantern year. Well, that was terrible. Uh, and now I don't have any endeavors. So it says... They must endeavor at the witch camp. Well, it costs me one, so I can't endeavor there. Otherwise, during the settlement phase, any survivor may endeavor if they choose. Okay, so Tom's the only one that can do it because we had to save save him 
from a terrible whaling death. And so that's it for the events. Uh, so now we're here, hoarder. Um, we'll have to archive a resource. We'll archive another bone. So that's done. And Valkyrie gets a courage. Done. So that's done for her. Okay. And uh, PTSD is done. Basically, Wilson is not going out with us on the next fight against the hand, which is probably good. It means that they'll survive. Survivors return. So we're going to go ahead and erase all the light and heavy injuries to everyone. That is done. Gain Endeavors, did that already. Update the timeline, did that. Update the death count. So our population is down to five. There's another death. It was Lisa, the savior. And she died from the white lion. We'll highlight her in yellow. So counting, we have one, two, three, four, five survivors left. And one of them, which is Wilson, can't go out on the next hunt. So we have enough to take out four survivors. We'll see how that goes. Check milestone story events. Nope, develop. All right, so like I said before, we're going to have to buy the uh, raw head rawhide gloves again so there is the the resource for that unfortunately we can't innovate now because we don't have any endeavors so that's done um what else can we do? Well, we do have Weapon Crafter. Um, can't really build a lot of stuff. I mean, we could build a lot of stuff. I could build a scrap sort. It would take the iron we have. Uh, scrap Dagger. I could build this Telric Eye now. But I don't know if I want to. Um, the Telric Eye is not as good as the Cat Eye Circle it. I could build a plated shield if I had enough scrap, which I do not. I could do scrap salvage and get some scrap. Um, don't need any more bone stuff. I could make a pickaxe or a sickle now. Maybe I should do a sickle. It's a bone and a leather. I would need leather working to do that. So maybe I make a leather worker. That requires three hide. Can't do that. Stone circle I could do. That requires three hide and a... Um, three organ and a hide. I think I'm going to make another piece of white lion armor. So the lion tail is a hide. So the catarium, what am I missing? I have the helm, the boots, and the coat. I need a gauntlet and a skirt. So we'll do the gauntlet, which is a fur and a bone. So that's done. So white lion gauntlets. One more piece of armor. I've got the white lion armor set. It's taking me forever because I just cannot get white fur for some reason. So there's white, the white line gauntlets. When you pounce, gain plus one accuracy. Um, so maybe I should pounce from now on. I haven't been pouncing. That's where you move three in a straight line, and then you attack at the end of that. Um, I should do that more often. It gives you a plus one strength. I, I know I've had it. I just have, really haven't been in the situation where it came to mind. 
Okay, so the white line gauntlet's great. Hmm, I don't think there's anything else from the Katarium I really want or need. Can make a whisker harp. But I don't want to. Skinnery. I can make a rawhide whip. It's a bone and a hide. It comes in handy sometimes. Um, I can make a monster tooth necklace as a scrap and a bone. Um, I'd have to use my iron again. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and make the scrap sword. Right? We'll make the scrap sword. So it's two bone and the iron I have in storage, which is considered a scrap. So scrap sword it is. We can make the rawhide whip. So it's a bone and a hide. I have questionable bits still left in there. Here's a questionable bit. I'm gonna make the rawhide whip. I don't usually play with the rawhide whip, but it's really useful when you go out sometimes, especially with the hunt. Some of the events say, well, if you had a whip, you could do this. I don't think the weapon crafter has a better whip, right? No, that's from some other thing. Okay, so there's the whip. Um, and now we have four organs. Don't know what to do with the organs right now. So... I think somewhere along the way, did we lose monster grease? We did, so we'll buy one monster grease with the organ. Just a regular organ. And now I have tons of other organs here. Um, not much else I could do with these. So we're going to store them. So golden whiskers, sinew, lion testes. Storing these in storage. And that's it. So I'm going to prepare the survivors. I think our two twins, the female and the male, um, the one that's possessed, and then our other one. Uh, they're going to go out to fight the hand as the hand comes to kill us. I'll rearrange the equipment how I need it, uh, making sure that Tom has uh, the white dragon gauntlets because he's got the cross arm block, and um, create two new character sheets so that Tom, Valkyrie, and the twins, whoever I'm going to name them, um, go out on this uh, the showdown with the hand. Whew! This is not going to be good. I've never, never done well against the hand. Um, so, wish me luck. Alright, thanks, and I'll see you next showdown.